Welcome back. Fox 5 staying ahead of the climate protests that shut down a busy stretch of road and really put a crimp in the morning commute for so many people. David Kaplan live along the GW Parkway for us tonight. You know, we, we've seen these protests, David. They've happened time and time again. It seems like we're seeing more and more of them these days. Yeah, Jim, second one this week. The first was over in the district at 395 in New York Avenue. The second this morning here a couple miles from where I'm standing now on the GW Parkway. The group behind this is called Declare Emergency. You can see some video that they posted this morning. Three people were arrested by park police after about an hour. This was the parkway right around Spout Run a few miles again from where I am right now north. Now, spoke to a not so happy about it, Regina Ham, who missed a therapy appointment for her husky named Bella. It's something that's a very important cause, of course, but you're now having all these people idle and you're also now making them angry. So if you want people to be attentive to your cause, making them angry is not the best way to do it, especially at nine o'clock on a Wednesday morning. I also talked to Nora Swisher. She's speaking on behalf of Declare Emergency. She says protesters know this is an inconvenience, but added that's the point to show other people how dire they feel the current climate situation is. I read Swisher a tweet someone responded to in one of their tweets about this protest saying that angering people isn't the way to go. Here was her response. Do you all fear that doing this will turn people against you? No, I think we expected it. Um, and this has been true of uh, nonviolent civil disobedience um, movements throughout history. I mean, the suffragettes, the civil rights movement, um, they were not well liked during their time. Now, with hindsight, we see that um, their actions were, were moral and justified. For its part, the Biden administration thinks it has ambitious climate goals, but obviously this group does not feel that they are ambitious enough for the moment. The spokesperson did not give any more details about future potential protests, but as we said earlier, she said we can expect more in the coming weeks and months. Back to you.